This is Paul. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, factual impossibility. Yeah. <laughs> Recall from the example given in section eight? Yeah. The res ipsa, mm -hmm. le cure, <laughs> le couture test. Yeah. That Matthew threw a fillet coated with a rat poisoning over the fence into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> With the intent to poison the neighbor's dog, mm. both Melissa and Matthew are under the mistaken belief ah, that the dog is present and will eat the filet. <laughs> However, the dog is on an overnight camping trip with its owners. <laughs> this mistake of fact probably will not excuse Melissa and Matthew's attempt. <laughs> Melissa and Matthew purposely engaged in conduct that would result in the poisoning of the dog. <laughs> If the facts were as Melissa, <laughs> Melissa and Matthew believe them to be, <clears throat> thus Melissa and Matthew have most likely committed attempted destruction of property <laughs> or animal cruelty, regardless of the fact that their plan <clears throat> could not succeed under the circumstances. <laughs> Factual impossibility. <clears throat> now, this is one of those examples. Yeah. Individuals try to kill your dog. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Factual impossibility. Ooch, legal impossibility. Here's another example. <clears throat> Review the example given in section eight. The res ipsa licitur test. <laughs> I got it. <laughs>